I wish you'd look at this. This is one of them robotic total stations survey instruments. Now he's standing over there and he's going to shoot that little pad and this thing will adjust to him. It will find him and shoot a distance. Look at it moving. See, he's moving, it moves. Now he's going to do a set up, take a shot, and he's collecting it. Yeah. A lot of you don't know, but I'm an old surveyor. I started surveying back in the 70s, 1979. We didn't have anything quite like this. Yeah, back when I surveyed, we had to use a chain and a plumb bob and no, no uh, EDM, electronic measuring devices, until I think I, the first time I seen one was 1982. And we had to learn how to use it. It had a battery that was as, almost as big as a car battery. Well, I shouldn't say that. I think it was like as big as a motorcycle battery or a marine battery, something like that. But now the batteries are fit in the palm of your hand and they last all day uh, needless to say surveying has changed <laughs> I, I actually miss it I, I, I really enjoyed uh, my career when I was doing uh, paper mills and power plants we were the quality control checkout and we you know did line and grade you may not understand what that means but if you're a construction person and you know when you're doing line and grade, you know what that means. <laughs> but the checkout part was what I like. I mentioned that I had dyslexia uh, yesterday in a video. But one of the gifts that I had was I was able to read blueprints really well. Uh, so well that uh, I kept getting promotion. And sometimes I'd get demoted. In other words, the guys would be like pissed off that I could read the blueprints better than they could but I couldn't read the uh, notes. I had to have somebody else help me read the notes. And so in some jobs that was a deficit, but in other jobs, uh, I, I got to be assistant superintendent and uh, head of the quality control checkout people because I could literally uh, read drawings and, and visualize it and actually keep it in, in my mind and, and in the field when I seen something that was off before it was even built, just as we was putting batter boards up, I had the uh, innate ability to uh, know that I needed to double check it, and and I, you know, that's part of quality control. Trying to stop a pour before it happens wrong, and um, that's not easy. But if you, if you, I was blessed, and I was able to do it on on many occasions. Saved a lot of contractors a lot of money. Uh, based on the fact that something was laid out wrong. Now we did the layout, but sometimes the carpenters would come in and they would adjust to our layout and they would be the ones that would bust a foot here, bust a foot there, cause a lot of havoc when they when they did do stuff like that without getting the engineers to you know verify and actually come in and pull the line and grade. But some jobs we were in such a hurry it was rush, rush to the next pour, to the next thing, you know, and so they did what they did. But thought I'd mention that.